Rudy Giuliani conceded he made false statements when he accused two Fulton County elections workers of committing voter fraud during the 2020 presidential election. Well, now Channel 2's Richard Elliott reports those two workers are seeking damages from Giuliani as part of an ongoing lawsuit. The lawsuit claims Donald Trump's former attorney, Rudy Giuliani, made a number of false statements when he accused former Fulton County elections workers, Ruby Freeman and her daughter, Shay Moss, of committing voter fraud when they were counting votes at State Farm Arena in November 2020. Giuliani presented this video to a state Senate subcommittee a month later and said it was proof of fraud. And then you can see them counting the ballots more than once, two, three, four, five times. You would have to be a moron not to realize that that's voter fraud. But it wasn't. Federal and state investigators proved there was no massive voter fraud anywhere in Georgia, and the state elections board went so far as to single out Freeman and Moss as being cleared of any wrongdoing. But in 2022, Freeman testified before the January 6th committee that Giuliani and Trump's false accusations turned their lives upside down. I had to move out of my house because the FBI said it wasn't safe. Her lawsuit has been ongoing in Washington, D.C. for months. She wants a judge to sanction Giuliani for failing to preserve some electronic evidence. In his response, Giuliani admitted he had lied, specifically that he doesn't contest that his, quote, factual statements were false. But he added he believes they were constitutionally protected so he's not liable for damages, and that's why his legal team says they're trying to move past this fact-finding phase of the trial so they can argue those points before the judge. Freeman insists those false statements stripped away her sense of security. All because a group of people starting with number 45 and his ally, Rudy Giuliani, decided to scapegoat me and my daughter, Shay. In Atlanta, Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News.